so friends uh, create a new file uh, you can create by file new part okay and uh, give some name uh, I'm giving the name mouse and um, do not click any of the options enable hybrid design so just press ok so a new file will be created go to sketch select this plane and uh, make line here you can make it datum construction line so create a line uh, right here uh, if you I want a perpendicular line it will automatically make a vertical uh, this is the constant which uh, Katia creates automatically you no need to create and do sorry you have to double click on a command to like this then uh, double click it to change this parameter I will make it 30 and uh, same also for this I will make it 30 then uh, just zoom it now so now take a spline click here and you can click right here yeah, and here and here oh faster like to make it a solid line you don't need it as a datum and uh, or in order to make it constraint make it I will make this give some dimensions seven make it seven and, uh, and uh, I Just a moment. Need it here and need it somewhere at this place. Then uh, we'll make the second point constraint. Double click. Give it 10.3 10 and uh, once again the center axis can make it 23. Make it uh, mm, six. Open. So the first uh, part of this plane is finished, but. Uh, 
now it's more important thing is we have to give a constraint this with this will make a tangency but after this it becomes surprise I should have to do something to uh, avoid this uh, our constraint uh, okay I find out the solution for this our constraint but uh, before that we can arrange the dimension in a disciplined way that should be good practice uh, or else it will be very very difficult for us to manage no no not Okay, now I think uh, this dimension is not necessary. We can delete it. So the uh, sketch will be constant. Now it is fully constant. So guys, please, uh, you can pause here to check the dimensions. And uh, now I'm going to make another spline in that side so once again take the spline command and click somewhere at this place and uh, can click uh, here here and somewhere here then press escape come out from this command then double click on this toolbar keep the dimension both horizontal and vertical double click here we will make it uh, 16.5 and make this dimension uh, 16 then uh, once again make a constraint to this so this dimension will be 13.5 and this dimension will be I uh, know uh, we will do one thing I did a mistake uh, for this dimension we can uh, click here line 1 control point 2 1 and reconnect with this and uh, now we will going to change this dimension to around 23 because uh, I have taken all dimensions in this way that is why it is like this Uh, make it around 27 27.5 yes it's okay 5.4 then uh, we can do one thing we can mm, and select this control press the control key on the keyboard then click here to make a tangency. You can change that in order to make it fully constrained. But I think it is not necessary to make it fully constrained. It will be over constrained. Why I don't know. Anyway, uh -huh, yeah, sometimes it's happening. Get yeah. Why I don't know. Cannot. Something which is beyond of our. is good it's a better practice uh, 
to avoid the overlapping overlapping dimension to be clearly visible we'll create a connecting curve to get this dimension we can click uh, somewhere at this place and you can select the connect curve select here and select here it will make a connection between these two uh, splines now the sketch is ready to before uh, exit from the sketch you go to tool sketch analysis and uh, open now the sketch is perfect so in this way uh, guys you have finished the first uh, phase of this uh, tutorial mouse tutorial now the rest of the stage will be very easy and uh, so wish you all the best and uh, today we will upload this model and uh, whenever I get time I will make the next part until that uh, forgive me and uh, sorry for my bad English and thank you so much for your lot of feedbacks and uh, emails which inspire me to write this tutorial and uh, I apologize that I have uploaded this past phase of this mouse tutorial after a long time anyway thank you so much once again goodbye wish you all the best